Hi everyone, this is Lana from Lana Under Pressure and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect cake in the Instant Pot for your dog. If you've ever seen my pictures on Facebook or my blog, you'll notice a certain someone in the background of most of my food shots and that's my dog Daisy Mae. She is probably my biggest fan when it comes to cooking, but most of the time the food I make really isn't dog friendly. So I decided for her birthday that I would make her an Instant Pot cake all for herself. And it's super easy and you're gonna love it. Well, your dog's gonna love it. For this cake, I like to use the Fat daddy -O 7 inch ring mold pan. Um, if you have a silicone pan, you can use that. Or if you just have a regular cake pan that'll fit in your Instant Pot, you can use that as well. Just make sure that you grease it really well. I like to use vegetable oil because that's safe for dogs. And just slightly grease around it so that your cake will come out easy. Before we get started, I wanna talk about the three main ingredients for this dog food cake. Here's a few things you need to know before you even start thinking about cooking for your dog. First, anytime you change their diet, even with an occasional treat, you need to make sure you do it slowly and in small amounts. Also, make sure the ingredients that you're using are safe for dogs. And in the description below, I will put a link to the AVMA website that has a list of ingredients and foods that you shouldn't feed your pets. The three main ingredients for this cake are peanut butter, and it's important that you use an organic, unsalted, creamy peanut butter, and definitely don't use any peanut butters that are sugar-free or low in sugar or have a lot of extra added ingredients. Especially make sure that it doesn't have xylitol in it, which is really unsafe for dogs. The second ingredient is unsweetened applesauce, and again, try to get an organic applesauce that is just pure apple, doesn't have any extra ingredients. And third, is sweet potato baby food or pumpkin puree in the can. Now it's important not to get the pumpkin pie mix or filling because that has other additives, sugars, things like that. So you wanna go with the pure pumpkin puree, a baby food, or you can even make your own pumpkin puree in the Instant Pot. I find it much easier to mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients separately. So in a large bowl, I have here one cup of all-purpose flour, but you can also use whole wheat flour. And to that, I'm gonna whisk a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm gonna set this aside. In a smaller bowl, I'm gonna whisk one large egg, an eighth of a cup of vegetable oil. And if you wanna use another type of dog safe or pet safe oil, you can do that. To that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of my unsweetened organic applesauce. Now we're gonna add, if you were using the pumpkin puree or any other flavor of baby food, I'm gonna add that now. And I also like using the baby food because now that my kids are grown, I can't remember the last time I went into a baby aisle at the grocery store. And they have so many flavors, so you don't even have to use the sweet potato one. They have chicken, they ha I mean they have all kinds of flavors now. So just go with whatever you think your dog would like. And I'm gonna add my peanut butter and whisk this together. Now pour your wet ingredients into your dry and then we're going to fold it in and you wanna make sure that there aren't any dry you know, lumps or white streaks or anything like that. Make sure it's whisked really well. Once you've mixed your ingredients together, we're gonna to add it to the ring mold and get ready to put it in the Instant Pot to cook. Now you'll notice that this batter is a lot thicker than most cake batters that you're used to. And I actually did that on purpose when I was creating this recipe. I found when I had a recipe where the cake was either moist or crumbly, when I would feed it to my dog, it would make a complete mess everywhere. I mean, she isn't the neatest eater, but what dog is, right? What I liked though was the thicker I made the batter and the longer I cooked it in the Instant Pot, the denser it would get. And so that's not great for a human cake, but for a dog cake, it's perfect. Now let's add the batter to our ring mold. And since it's thick, you can't really pour it in. So I just glop it, or whatever the cooking terminology is. 
you want to make sure that it's even and once you have put all of the batter into the ring mold just even it out and of course it doesn't have to be perfect I mean really is your dog gonna mind I don't think so we've covered our ring mold with foil and now we're ready to place it in the instant pot first you want to make sure that you have your trivet in the instant pot a good tip is if you don't have a trivet or you lost yours is to just take some foil and create a ring and you can place anything on that and use that as a makeshift trivet. You also want to have at least one cup of water in your Instant Pot. Anytime you cook with the Instant Pot you have to have a liquid in there. Place your cake ring mold on top of the trivet and lock the lid in place. Make sure the valve is set to seal now we're going to cook on high pressure for 50 minutes and allow it to natural pressure release for 15. Once your cake is done, remove the foil and place it on a wire rack inside the mold for about 10 minutes. Then invert the cake onto a cooling rack and let it cool for at least an hour. So now our cake has completely cooled and it wouldn't be a birthday cake without frosting. And this is probably the easiest, most disgusting frosting you'll ever make. It's just 3 fourths cup Greek yogurt, a quarter cup of peanut butter, and two tablespoons pumpkin puree. Of course, you can then doctor it up however you want. This one I actually had like a, I had a chicken baby food, so I added that. And instead of the pumpkin puree, I had some leftover sweet potato that I just put in the microwave cooled down, mashed it up, and added that. You can do whatever you like, as long as it's dog safe and it's the consistency of frosting so that you can frost your cake and it stays on. Now we're just gonna frost it just like a regular cake. Just take a little bit of your frosting and add it, and you can be as fancy or unfancy as you like. So Daisy May is gonna help me frost. Yes, I know. So it may smell gross, it may look gross, but as you can see for dogs, the best thing they've ever had. Our dog cake is frosted, and before it's ready to eat, I like to decorate it. And of course, what are you going to decorate a dog cake with other than dog treats? You want one? Yeah. So you can just place them however you want. You can get fancy with it. You can even use just regular dog food. Or if you like, you don't have to frost it at all. You can cut it up and just make it into dog treats. All right, I know. She's very excited to try this. I know. <laughs> We're done decorating our dog birthday cake and ready to serve. And that's our Instant Pot dog birthday cake and you can tell that it's really dense again that makes it much easier to serve your dog and it doesn't make a complete mess you ready to try it let's see if she likes it she likes it <laughs> you can find this recipe and more dog friendly recipes and other recipes on my blog lanaunderpressure.com I'll link it in the description below please like this video Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. No, you can't eat the whole cake. <laughs>